I love animals. And uh, last week, I went with uh, our, my, our grandchildren to the zoo um, because I love them and I love animals. And we had a great time. And of course, this week, we are reading about Noah, who's saved the animals uh, in the ark. And uh, just one interesting story I want to relate uh, about the lion. Uh, there was a, uh, the lions of Tsavo. Uh, Tsavo is a place in Kenya where at the beginning of last century, the British were building a railway over the Tsavo Gorge. And there were two lionesses who were hunting down, killing and eating the workers on the project. Horrific. And they tried everything. They tried to hunt them down. They were not able to, they did not succeed. They actually wounded the lions, but the lions basically recovered and continued hunting. They put uh, fake uh, corpses made of meat uh, in tents, hoping the lions would go for that. The lions ignored that, went for the live workers. They put poisoned meat out. The lions ignored it, went for the live workers. Decoys, nothing worked. Eventually, a Colonel Jonathan Patterson, uh, a British uh, soldier and engineer, came to Tsavo, and he personally, first of all, confronted a large, understandably disturbed group of workers um, and uh, was able to prevent a massive riot from breaking out. And then he hunted down the lions single-handedly um, and was able to kill them both and uh, save the uh, workers and continue the project. The lion eaters, the man eaters of Tsavo, those lions are called. And Colonel Jonathan Patterson was also um, a Christian Zionist. He believed in the uh, return of the Jewish people to the land of Israel. He believed in the attempt of the Jews to re-establish independence and a state in Israel. And he went from Kenya to Egypt, where he was involved in training the Jews who served, Jews from Israel, Palestine at the time, who served in the British army. Uh, he eventually helped train many of the uh, soldiers in the Haganah, the, which was the foundation of the IDF, the Israel Defense Forces, the uh, Tzahal, uh, the Israeli army. And he became a friend of a uh, professor of history, medieval Jewish history, by the name of Ben Sion Netanyahu. Ben Sion Netanyahu named his oldest son, his first son, he named him after Jonathan Patterson. And Jonathan Netanyahu was named after Jonathan Patterson, this colonel. Interestingly, Jonathan Netanyahu ended up back in Africa. He led, he was the commander of the Sayeret Matkal, the, Chief, the, the general staff recon unit, elite Israeli special forces unit who did the rescue at Entebbe. And uh, he was killed during that rescue uh, not far from where his namesake, Jonathan Patterson, uh, killed those two lions uh, and saved that project. Uh, later on, Jonathan Patterson moved to the United States, passed away in the United States, and a couple of years ago, his body was reinterred in Israel with a full military honors burial in the presence of Jonathan Netanyahu's brother, Ben Sion's other son, Bibi Netanyahu, Prime Minister of the State of Israel, who also served in that same unit, Sayeret Matkal. So it's just a, it's, it's interesting to me how history, Hashem has history go in these incredible circles and the connections and the patterns. And uh, I just thought I'd share that story with you. Uh, the Lions of Tsavo, the uh, Yonatan, Yoni Netanyahu, who, by the way, his letters are incredible and inspiring, being published in a book. And, of course, his famous brother, Bibi Netanyahu, Prime Minister of the State of Israel, and their father, Ben Sion, who was a scholar uh, of medieval Jewish history and uh, served eventually as a professor in Cornell University. Uh, just one of my favorite stories regarding his uh, this professor is that he wrote a book about the Inquisition, which involves a lot of transcripts of Inquisition trials, etc., a uh, story is told that when Bibi Netanyahu, first time he met the Pope, um, he gave the Pope as a present his father's book about the Spanish Inquisition. I thought what of one of the great moments of diplomacy uh, in history. Uh, this is Mordechai Becher with the Gateways Parsha Vlog. Have a wonderful Shabbos.